Good morning, Bear Cubs. This week we're going to be talking about the story of Easter. Easter is when Jesus died on the cross for us to save us from our sins, which are lots and lots of big words. Um, so I have a story for you, and you definitely have to ask your mom and dad about some of the things we're talking about because we're not at school to be able to see each other and talk about them in class. So, the name of my story today is called The Story of Easter for Children. See the two children on there? Look at all those beautiful flowers. Do you know why we celebrate Easter? We celebrate this special day because the spring has come and all the plants come back to life when winter is done. Remember, it was cold. We had one day of snow. We talked about snowmen and making snow angels and we were having some fun and it was cold outside. But now, the rains of spring, it's raining today, melt the winter snow and help leaves sprout on the trees. Do you see the little boy playing in the pond with the boat? And the little girl has her umbrella and look at all the leaves coming back on the trees. Oh, you could go outside today in your umbrellas and raincoats and stomp around and look at all the new flowers and everything that are growing. The warm sun helps the grass to grow and the flowers bloom for bees. Look at all those kids playing outside. Aren't they having fun? What a great time. We all rejoice on Easter day, but Christians have two reasons to rejoice. They are thankful that Christ rose from the dead and for the change of seasons. Isn't that beautiful, that waterfall and the ducks, the baby ducks swimming? Oh, so nice. On Christmas Day, we celebrate it the day God's son was born. Remember when we sang about baby Jesus? Look, there's baby Jesus and Mommy Mary and the angels and all the animals were watching. He brought us everlasting life on that first Christmas morn. When he was older, Jesus healed the sick. He healed the blind. He healed the lame, the people who couldn't walk. He had so many followers who proudly spoke his name. We've talked about all those stories at chapel about the miracles that Jesus did. Now Jesus is riding into town on a donkey. This is called Palm Sunday. See the, see the, the leaves they're waving? Those are called palm leaves because they're from a palm tree. And all the people were waving those leaves on Palm Sunday and Jesus was riding a donkey and they laid down their coats on the ground so it says, on Palm Sunday, Jesus rode into town upon a donkey's back. The people sang, Hosanna, Lord, you are the king we lack. The people laid their clothes and palms upon the dusty ground to honor Jesus Christ, the Lord. They gathered all around. Oh. Look, here are the shepherds out, and you see these three crosses up here. See the three crosses? And look at the sky. It was very dark and cloudy. It was rainy. But some men did not like the Lord. They thought he had too much power. These people planned to cause his death to bring his final hour. They put him on a wooden cross and laid God's dear son and let God's dear son die. We're not scared, they were scared to help as his friends stood silently by. 
as his friend stood silently by. This is called a tomb. It was a big rock that had a hole. It was kind of like a cave. And that is where they put Jesus's body, the tomb. And they put this big rock in front of it and they closed it up. At dawn on that first Easter day, at dawn at that first Easter day, his friends went to his tomb and by the light of the golden day, they found an empty room. Look, it was empty. His, he was not there. An angel stood beside the door. There's the angel right here. See his wings? The stone was rolled away. The Lord is risen, the angel said. He is alive today. We loved hearing those words. Look at that. There's everybody going to church on Easter morning. Look at that beautiful sunrise and the mom and dad and the kids and they're all dressed and heading to church. Christ Jesus rose up from the dead, a blessing God has given. We too will have life after death because God has risen. That is an Easter lily flower. The Easter lily blooms in spring and stands for Christ's rebirth. Like Jesus rose up from his tomb, the flower rises from the earth. Our Jesus is the Lamb of God. He is peaceful, pure, and mild. He is our own good shepherd who keeps watch on every child. Remember, Jesus watches over his flock just like he watches over each one of us. Oh, look at those little chickens and the Easter eggs. That's why we do Easter eggs. As symbols of spring's new life, the chickens' fresh laid eggs are homes for chicks that soon pop out on small, unsturdy legs. See the little chickens? Cheep, cheep, cheep. Some other symbols of new life are hopping all around. Look at those bunnies hopping. These bunnies are so many that they almost hide the ground. Look how many bunnies there are hopping around. On Easter Sunday, look, everybody's getting dressed up in new, pretty clothes. On Easter Sunday, everyone wears pretty lighter clothes, just like the earth, which now wears grass instead of winter snows. Look at that, pretty flowers. So now on Easter morning, when the birds begin to sing, a little birdie, cheep, cheep. There's another one, cheep, cheep. You'll sing along in happiness to warmly welcome spring. You'll know that Jesus gave to us the best thing he could give. He gave us life and rose from death so that we too can live. That is the Easter story for children. Um, have your moms and dads uh, talk to you about Jesus's um, life and death on the cross and uh, read that story. <laughs>